And before his weekly briefing, the governor was in Saline County today meeting with local leaders there about the area's response to the health crisis, what they're doing to protect their folks. Jay Bird joining us now live from the capital city with more on today's meeting. Hey, Jay. Discussion on a variety of topics centered on COVID-19. How is the Saline County area being affected? Also, too, what can they do further to possibly prevent spread? Uh, governor also checking in on how are some of the mandates working out, too. And also, uh, they, they went over some of the protocols and the procedures for when the vaccine will finally be ready. On Tuesday, Governor Asa Hutchinson announced that he is looking into further limitations on public gatherings. Outside of a regulated environment, we want to be able to do more as we go through the next couple of months to make sure that if we have group gatherings that uh, they have the right protocols in place for safety. The governor says he's not quite ready to release further guidelines on those limitations yet, as the details are still being worked through. Part of the challenge we've had throughout this is uh, conflicting information as far as you apply one set of standards over here, but you apply a different set of standards over here. That can create confusion. State Senator Kim Hammer also wants to make sure the rules don't wind up being ignored because the application of them is not uniform. He also doesn't want to see knee-jerk reactions to events. Make sure that it doesn't create uh, an environment where people begin to cancel on events unnecessarily because that economically impacts us. The COVID-19 vaccine rollout, another hot topic today. Governor Hutchinson reiterated pharmacies will play a huge role in its distribution. I really just talk about their capacity and how uh, the public is used to coming in and getting flu shots and, and vaccinations there uh, at a pharmacy and how it's such a use tool uh, to use to get widespread access uh, through the COVID vaccination. Blake Torres, owner of the Westside Pharmacy in Benton, says his pharmacy will participate in the vaccine rollout. So our plan is uh, we're going to step up to whatever the Department of Health and the state needs. Uh, we have the capabilities to do Pfizer. We have the capabilities to do Moderna. Now, the governor will also be in Springdale tomorrow and in Jonesboro on Thursday, taking part in these community meetings, and he will have more of those scheduled for next week as well. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burr, KRK, 4 News.